Hello everyone. How's everybody doing? Hello. It's a Sunday night. I'll have to start thinking about the new work week. No, say it isn't so. <laughs> Hello, this is Cindy from CC Cindy's Creations with Chalk Couture. I just wanted to come on since I have been missing for the last couple days. I had a couple events that I was doing this weekend, so I've been a little busy with that. So now, I guess, since Halloween is officially over and people are starting to think more about Christmas, I thought maybe I could start doing some more things with our beautiful transfers that we have that are Christmas related. So, um, those of you that don't know me, I am Cindy, like I said, and I'm with Chalk Couture. I do um, projects here with our silk screen transfers. Here is the silk screen. Let me show you. I got a small one here. And as you can see, there is the silk screen. Uh, we will be applying paste to that. It will distribute evenly. And then I will give you instructions on how we get this to work. It's really easy. These transfers are reusable over and over again. That's the great thing about uh, Chalk Couture. Everything is reusable. Your paste is reusable. Um, your transfers are reusable. I just love it. So what we're going to use tonight, I am using our 9x12 boutique board. And uh, it's I had on here, um, If those of you that have watched me before, I have... Uh, the October 31st on here and so I just washed that off and I'm going to reuse that. Hi Holly! Now when you're using these boards make sure that you look on the back and make sure that you know that you're if you're gonna hang it up that you have this to the top or if you're doing it to the side make sure that you pick the right one. Hi Michelle! Just make sure that you are putting this in the right direction. Believe me, I've done it. That's why I'm warning you. <laughs> Those are things that I have done. Learn from my mistakes. <laughs> so anyways, um, what I'm going to use tonight is our, let's see, the name of it is on the back, Days Until Christmas, and the Woodland Floral. Flora is what it's called. And so what I'm going to do is open this up. You guys, I have just been sleeping so much today. I just figured I need to get up, get around, do something because, I don't know, I guess I was just too exhausted from doing two events in one day. Had a great time, though. That's where I met Holly. Right, Holly? <laughs> and um, it was fun at the Wine Fest. Had a really good time. Very, very busy there. Uh, but had fun, but glad that it's over with. Now we can move on and go on to our another project. I've got another busy week ahead. Got the weekend busy. But it's all good. I like being crafty. So how's everybody's weekend go? Everybody have a good weekend? As you come in, say hello. Let me know that you're here. I do look up at my laptop over to my left and see if anybody's come in, but I may miss you, so just say hello. And if you are on a mobile device, bottom left hand corner is a share button. I would appreciate it if you would share with your friends, let them know that I am here with Chalk Couture and if they're not working with a designer, I would love to be their designer. So I'd love to help out. Okay, so got all these cut apart. Um, what you do want to do once you have have all these cut apart, you're going to want to either mark back on here, or I usually will put what it says on there, and so that way you know which side is the back and what is the front. Okay, 
Okay. Just lay that off to the side. I don't know. This I might just put back. I'm not going to <laughs> draw the bulb out, but sometimes I do. I'll draw out what it is. I'm not feeling very artsy tonight. <laughs> But I do want to make sure that I know which side is the back. One side is glossy. The other has a matte finish. So you want to make sure that you apply your transfer to the glossy side so that you can reuse it. If you apply it to this matte size, you might have a difficult time trying to get it off. And that is not going to be fun. Okay, so what my plan is... I am going to put days until Christmas here. We'll leave this open because you can always put in here the days. But I want to make it look like if, I don't know, I thought if I decided to and put in these um, little branches in here and some pine cones. And then from there, we'll use this to make it, this is like the, it's going to connect to the bulb. So it's kind of like the little string or whatever you want to call it, and we're going to do it in different lengths. So that's the plan. That's the plan, Stan. That's how I came up with that idea. Whether it's good or not, it's hopefully we'll see how it works. Okay? So as you're pulling off your transfer, you're going to want to come pull it off straight back. And I'm just going to apply this here. With our boutique boards, it's not necessary to have to fuzz it so much. Fuzzing is when you take your transfer and you apply it to a towel just to pick up some of the fuzz so that um, it's not as sticky because as you pull this off, we don't want to get it um, too stuck to the board. So you're just going to want to be careful so that you don't stretch it. This is a new container. of um, I have Green Envy here. I have discovered, you know, a lot of people try to pull it off. There's no way to pull that off, and you end up making a mess. What I have found that if I take my little scraper here and I go all the way around the edge, it comes off a lot easier. At least for me it does. So I have just discovered this. Because, see how you get all this mess here? And I just want to make sure that... I save as much as the color as I can and I put that back into the container putting my trash over here off to the side all right when you get your new paste you're going to want to make sure that you stir this up you want it to have a yogurt like consistency so you're going to want to make sure you just stir it up if it looks kind of like it's all curdled up or so and it's got little bumps everywhere you just need to stir it up that's all Okay, so we got that stirred up. So I'm going to take my squeegee and I am going to apply this onto my evergreen here. My evergreen branch. You're just going to apply your paste. And once you apply that, you you know you don't really need a whole lot. But if you do have too much, you just remember you can scrape it off. So that's going to be okay. All right. I'm just now trying to scrape off any excess that I might have. And I'm going to be able to lift this back. I love it. That looks very cool. All right. And I'm just going to come off to this side. I don't necessarily have to wash it every time. As long as I can still see the silk screen there I am going to be okay I could probably get uh, two to three branches on here before it really needs to be cleaned off so I'm just gonna move it and just keep moving along here okay Scrape off any excess that I have right back into my container and pull this off. I just thought maybe I'd try to make it look 
like there's a real tree or something and you've got your ornaments hanging down. Since they were cute little ornaments, why not, right? All right, I'm going to dry this off so that when I lay this down, I don't um, accidentally get this messed up. I have done that plenty of times before. All I'm using is just a little um, dryer here. If you don't have one of these dryers, you can use a blow dryer. It works fine. We're basically just speeding up the process of the paste drying. Paste dries usually within three or four minutes, but I'm just trying to speed it up so that just because we're demonstrating here, and then you just want to make sure that your board isn't too hot. Okay. It's pretty much cooled off. So I am just going to lay another branch down here. I just kind of want to fill in a little bit. I think I should be able to get a couple more through here. I don't know. I just wanted to have some branches in here. I don't know how many times I'm going to get to to do this before I have to clean it off. Because the paste will eventually start to um, kind of dry in your silk screen and you want to get that clean. Just be careful when you're pulling over from having on top of some other paste. So just be careful. That's looking good. See how it's looking more like branches? I think it looks cute. Just an idea I had. I'm just going to do a couple more. I said, just wanted it to look like we had something there. Just making sure that it's not too hot. All right. See if I can get this to work some more. Let's kind of push this down before I pick up my paste. There we go. Kind of press that down a little bit. So how is everybody? Did you everybody have a good weekend? It's kind of quiet. And if you are watching on the replay, do hashtag replay just so that I know that people are watching. Pull back slowly. There we go. I like how that's looking. What do you guys think? Very nice. So are you liking it, Michelle? You're all excited about the Christmas stuff. She's always wanting to, to post things about Christmas, and I'm like, no, not yet. But she's all excited about it. I know, it's, I think it's a little soon, but hey. This is just the transfers that I have. I'm excited to, to use them. So that's kind of got me more in the mood. And they say the sooner that uh, you start to decorate, I guess it puts people in a better mood. I don't know if that's true or not, but hey, I guess with whatever works, right? Oh, it looks cute. Just have to fill it in a couple more spots. I got a little green on the board there, but I'll be able to get that off. All right. See if I can get another one on there. That's a little hot. I want to make sure we cool that off. 
while I'm waiting for that to cool off. I don't want to put it on there too hot. I will take um, one of my towels here. Of course, you know, when I'm trying to grab one really quick, is when it falls down into my container. Still having issues here. So, hi Effie, how are you? Just going to clean this off to make sure that I get the paste off of there. Perfect. Looks like it's got it a little green, but it's all right. I'm okay with that. All right. Got that cooled off so I can put at least another branch on there. Hi, Heather. All right, so I'm going to put another branch on here just so that it looks like my tree. Okay. Then we will start to put the ornaments or the, uh, what do you call that? Oh, I guess like the little string that your ornament would hang from. Because we only need a small area here for you to chalk in there as to how many days until Christmas. So just slowly pull apart there. Yay! Alright, I'm happy with that. We've got it looking like there's some branches in there. Okay, very cool. Now, while we let this dry, you can tell it looks a little thinner here because this looks really thick and then it was still thick here. You can tell that that's probably where my transfer was starting to get um, filled in or the, the paste was probably starting to dry. So, that's when you know that you've done it too many times without cleaning off your transfer. All I'm going to do now is scrape off any excess that I have of my paste and then put the lid on just so that I can make sure that I keep that dry. Or not dry, but keep it closed so that it doesn't dry out. Okay, and now while I'm letting this, this top part dry off and everything and make sure that we're good, I am going to go ahead and put the days until Christmas down at the bottom here. And I'm just going to slowly pull this off. Remember, we had already marked the back so that when I wash this transfer, I know what side I'm going to be putting it on. Okay. And I will be putting this on with the white. So I didn't get my white out. Okay. Oh, that's right. I have, I did have the little pine cone. I was going to put that every so often. You think I should or no? You guys tell me what you think. I'll leave it right there. Think I should put a pine cone in there in my branches or no? I put that in with the mocha color. Or should I leave it off? Okay, we're going to put this to the side. I am going to put my days until Christmas right here. Okay. Just making sure that I have this all pushed in. I've got my A that comes down here a little ways. All right. No? Okay. All right. I've already used my white earlier today. <clears throat> so, don't necessarily need to stir that up too much. <clears throat> I'm just going to grab a squeegee. I'm going to pick up some of my paste. Here. 
here and then we're going to just apply this down here glide that across I should have enough paste here I would think just gliding it across here you have more than enough it's usually um, just making sure that you do it quickly and then I'm just trying to scrape off so that I don't have any lines across there so you don't see that through the soak screen making sure that I get any excess off okay all right now we're going to pull this back oops looks like I've got some paste there on my fingers all right pull this back slowly Oh, that looks so cute. Love it. Love how that came out. <laughs> okay, Holly. Yeah, I, I, I knew that's what you meant. <laughs> All right. So, take that off. I'm going to close up my paste here. All right, we'll leave the pine cone off. I'm going to dry this just in case I touch this when I'm putting on. Well, I guess I need my white back out because I'm going to put those for my little strings of hanging my ornament. Okay. So now we are going to put this at different lengths. I'm going to have some shorter some longer you know i'm just going to do a few of the ornaments i'm basically trying to um do what was in in our catalog pretty much just a cute little few ornaments hanging some can be long some don't have to be as long This one's cute and nice and narrow. So you can have the ornaments way up here. The ornaments don't have to be, you know, we've got them hanging in the tree, right? Should I just do three? Or should I squeeze in another one? You know, they don't really have to have all the strings. I can stick them up in here, can I? Well, I guess they need something, don't they, to be hanging on. Hi, Tammy. All right. So what I'm going to do, this one, I'm going to have it hanging. Okay. So I will have this one. I don't want it as long, so it can hang about there. All right, let's do this. Three. Okay. We will do three. Just want to fuzz this up because I am going to be going right over some of the paste that's already on there. So I want to make sure that I fuzz this up so it doesn't pull up any more of my paste. Okay. All right. I'm going to move this down. I'm going to place this in here. Kind of put this on a branch there because this is where it's going to hang. Okay. I'm going to take my smaller squeegee. And apply that. Here we go. How cute! All right, that's where that's going to go. Then I will put this one up a little farther. 
we'll have this one hanging. Again, I'm just going to use my small squeegee. There we go. Slowly pull that up so that I don't pull up any of my... How cute! All right. Then, let's make this one a little shorter. Very cute. I guess they're almost the same length. <laughs> It'll still work. It'll work out good. All right. Let's dry this up. And if anything, I can line it up and we can make one longer if we need to. But the ornaments are different widths, so it's still going to look good. Okay. Now, the big, big question here is if I'm doing these three, I think I want to put the Daryl one over to this side put this one that's gonna to be too long I need him to be shorter because we're gonna put the number right in here so he's gonna to have to I need to take him a little bit of his little dots off don't you think I do believe so what I'm going to do to do that is I'm just going to take a um, little wipe here. Just going to take off some of my little dots. Okay, and then I'm going to, I could have used um, a Q-tip also. If I need to, I will do that to that way this one where'd it go? This one will be a little shorter and we have more room to write our number in there. Alright, I am going to figure out now my colors, you guys. I've got to figure out the colors that we're using. Um I definitely need a red one in there. Got red, green, I thought about maybe a teal one. There always has to be a red one, don't you think? All right, so here is going to be one of my ornaments okay so we could do different colors I could do the ribbon one color and then the actual bulb another color I think I should do this one red the bulb red but what am I going to color the green of the with the ribbon green you think A blue for the ribbon or blue ornament? Let's get these open while we decide what we're using. I've got yellow. If anyone thinks I should use yellow. Ooh, that's a little dry. So, when it's a little dry, I need to spritz some water into it blue ornament okay hmm. I got all kinds of blue you're talking dark blue light blue I actually pulled out an aqua marine you know it's a different not your non-traditional colors but I don't want to go too dark of a blue either because it probably won't show up real good the only silver that I have 
is, but that's an ink, but it can still stay on there. I mean, it will just take longer to dry. I do have silver that I could use, so I guess we could do that. Why don't we do that? Okay, this ornament, I'm going to have this one, I think, a little darker because of the red. What? What's darker? Or do you mean this, this color here that I was thinking of using? was just thinking of the ribbons on all the ornaments. Yeah. So I want to do this ornament red. What color should I do my ribbon? Green? Okay. There's always a 30 second delay, so I'm always just waiting for you guys to tell me what you think. All right, so here's my ornament. Okay. Scrape off my excess back in there. Grab my green. Carefully put this on. I am not ready for the week to start again. But it does feel nice having the extra hour. Did everybody tell a difference or no? And I'll pull this back. Oh, how cute. That ornament looks cute. Very, very cute. Love it. Funny how the colors change as, as I'm drying it. It's still wet and then the color comes back once it really brightens up. Okay, now we've got, oh, so your week already started, huh? Well, you're just a hard worker, Tammy. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm going to do this one. What color should I go with this? And then I have this narrow one that I'm going to put off to the side here. This is cute. Should I do yellow or... What do you guys think? I could do a yellow ornament, you think? <laughs> oh, that's right. I wanted to go check that out. I wanted to go and check your store out. I have to come in and see it. All right, maybe I can do the silver on that. I've not really done silver on one of our boards. I might do the silver, Holly. I think I'm going to try that out. This is our ink, but you can also put this on your boards. It's just, it will take a little longer to dry, and it should work just fine. Not really done it on my boards, but I have seen other people do it. 
We're going to get it looking all glittery. Have it a glitter look. The ink just takes a little longer to dry because it's meant for material. But that's okay. It, it will be fine. You know, only going to have it up here for a while. Set this up in my house here. I know I get, it gets me worried because I saw something where it was said that there was only eight or nine Fridays until Christmas. And I'm like, no, it can't be. And it really is, you guys. It's going to be here before we know it. I mean, I just couldn't believe it when I, when I read that. Could not believe it. Okay. See, I knew that I had more time with that. See, I got silver all over my fingers. Okay. So let's pull this back slowly. Oh, that's pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. <laughs> that's pretty. The silver looks nice on there. Thanks for suggesting that. It's very pretty. How cute. All right, and so you're saying no with my yellow. You want me to do like a blue, all right? Let's see, a blue. All right, we don't want to go too dark because the board is black. Guess what I could do is like this color blue. It's not really, this one's not really blue, but it's kind of got, I don't know. I don't want to go too dark. What do you guys think? One, two, one or two. Or I could do gold, okay? I have, the closest thing I have to gold would be more of my copper. What do you guys think? One, two, three. One, two, or three. <laughs> one one and then Holly says the copper all right let's do let's do the copper something different right but I have a ribbon on this one too. So I don't want to do it all. You guys got to let me know what I should do for my little ribbon on here. Okay. So I'll do this with like the gold, my ribbon. I know I changed colors, sorry. Okay, and my ribbon, what color should that be? Should I have like a red ribbon or? I got a little ribbon here. I'll go ahead and do this like in this gold copper look. Okay. You guys decide on what kind of ribbon. I'm 
trying to get up there. Trying to be careful. Okay, so what'd you guys decide? Red? <laughs> Do same color as red's ribbon. Green? Red. I like red. Can we do red? I think we should do red. We got green over here. Let's do red. Okay, let's do red. We'll do red. Okay. Hopefully I didn't mix that in there. Okay, here we go. Peel to reveal. Aw, that's pretty. I like that. Came out beautiful. So then in here is where you would put your however many days it is until Christmas. That looks too cute. Anybody have any idea how many days it is until Christmas? I don't know if I can find my numbers real quick. But anyway, it is very cute. So there you have it. Cute little project. Didn't take too long. So there you go. This is with the Woodland Flora and the Days Until Christmas. And so then when we're finished with this, obviously we'll just be able to wipe it right off and use it for something else. Not enough days. That is true, Tammy. Very true. So if you like what you saw here, would like some information about um, maybe doing a class of your own or coming to one of my classes, 51 days, are you serious? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but Fridays, it sounds more scarier if you think about how many Fridays it is. Let me see. I got a calendar right next to me. What is... So it's the fifth. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven Fridays, you guys. Seven Fridays. Oh, my God. Okay. So anyways, <laughs> if you like what you saw, I would appreciate it if you would share with your friends. And um, if you liked what you saw that I was doing here, said, hey, I can do that, um, comment join down below and I will get you into a um, opportunities page to ask, you can ask any kind of questions there with all the ladies and we all help out each other. Um, but I would love to be able to do a class for you or if you'd like to attend one of my classes so that you can make some Christmas gifts coming up, please let me know and comment me below and I will get some information to you as to when I have things scheduled or if you'd like to schedule your own class. Thanks for coming in tonight, ladies, and make sure that you hit your share button. I guess that's all I have for you tonight. Remember, get creative.